Right then, this trip has changed about three times already. Supposed to be going to the Menai first, to fish for the Ras, then down to Moldedon. The wind has been atrocious. As I was um, on my way to the Menai, Mr. Happy Hooker rung me. He's with Tommy, they're in the area. I'm in Bull Bay now. Hooker has got a spot he wants to take me to, and he tells me it's 100 foot deep, off the edge. With the water dropping now, it's high water about now. The water's dropping, so it, it's. I hope it is deep, otherwise we're going to have no water. But I've got full trust in him. Uh, him and Tommy's just popped into Hamlet to get some food. I was eating on the way here, so I'm just going to wait here in this little car park. Um, see what happens. Uh, I've got a couple of rods with me for the big fish. I'm going to take a mackerel rod out there, because if it is that deep, and we are on you know, the edge of Anglesey, there's a good chance that the mackerel could be somewhere. Um... The wind is horrendous, it's coming from the back of us over the rocks, so I'm hoping that we can keep out of it. We've got some beautiful scenery to see over there, um, so come with me and uh, see if we can get some fish. I don't know how long I'm here for, I could be here till dark, it's about 3 o'clock in the afternoon now. Uh, I've done a lot of driving around for the last hour, going to one spot then the other spot, the wind's been in my face, this has been happening, that's been happening. In to Anglesey Bait Centre, picked up a load of fresh rag, some mackerel, some other bits. Um, we're just going to go and give it a go over there. But as I say, if it's as deep as I'm told it is, um, we should should really be in some fish because the deeper the better, innit? See you in a bit. Dave the Slave on the right, Tommy on the left. You know this one, Mr. Rocker. Got all the gear. We're heading off to these big rocks in Bull Bay. Hooker's already had a kebab, he ain't even started yet. How am I going to get through there? Have you seen the amount of rucksacks I've got on and that? How do you get through in one go? Breathing! <laughs> and we're off to check out a deep hole the Hooker had found a few weeks before. When fishing spots like this, it's always best to have a few here. Safety in numbers is always the way to go. If you like this type of stuff, people, feel free to hit the subscribe button. It really, really does help. Head right down there, safety in numbers. Water's dropping now, so we definitely can't get cut off. Um, there's pots there and there, so obviously I don't want to be casting over them. What's this? Navionics. Navionics, look what we're casting on. How, how deep are we, mate? I'll show you now. I'll just get safe. Get safe, guys. Put something on it, get safe. Yeah, right. That little arrow's us. Yeah. Obviously. So that's, we've got to contend with that rock. So we, we, we need to be casting past that. Now, the depth over there will be 65 to 98 foot. Just over that rock. That's just, not far, Just over is that it? rock. I mean, you was, in fact, that's where we are stood now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we can cast into there. You can cast that way. But, but whatever we're doing. We're, we're actually on that rock, aren't we? E no, we're here. We're just before it. Yeah, we will be as the tide goes down. So that rock's just right there. So we, get, we could get snagged, but once we get over it, we're going to have and a then, good drop and off. And then if we can reach that rough ground there, it'd be yeah. ideal. Distance is key Let's then. Have a look. 66. See, look, 66 foot there, and then the 98 to 160 foot. Yeah, yeah. And that's got to only be 100 yard out. Okay. But we've got to make sure when we're bringing back, we're over that, I would have thought. Yeah, yeah. So it's clear right there as well, then around that bit, which is. Yeah. But you're not going to get, you're not going to fish off there, are you? Not safely, anyway. Mm, maybe not. You could you'd feel like that in there, I would have thought. Yeah, well, the water's dropping, so I'm going to set my little camp up in there. I am. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can, I mean, you can see the eye, you can see the rocks. Yeah. Perfect. Let's do, do it then. Not only for boaters, perfect for shore anglers as well. Let's do How's it. That? There was an absolute frenzy out at sea. The gannets were swooping and diving and eating something. Not too sure what it was, but I'm guessing that they was mackerel. Then what turned up? The dolphins. The dolphins was having a good feed too. The gannets was bombing into the water. It was a great thing to see this. I could have sat and watched this all day long. Does anybody have any idea what these would be feeding on or what was happening? It was nice to see anyway, but less of the wildlife, and let's get down to some fishing. My first rod, I'm just gonna go for it and send a full Joey mackerel out on a simple running setup. Uh, that's gonna be down to the left because I see a lobster pot there and a lobster pot there, so I'm guessing it's deep. Obviously, I'm gonna keep this side of the pot so I don't wanna get snagged up. 
Uh, so I'm just going to plonk it round here while I set the other rod up. And the right rod, just got like a, it's not quite baited feathers, like little type of sabiki type things with just little bits of lug and there's a couple of bits of rag on them too. I think the hooker's got a fish. Oh, look, 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 it's a dirty, dirty, dirty dog fish! <laughs> <laughs> yes, mate! Yeah, I feel good! Does it again! <laughs> On Tommy. Pulling a bit in it. It's a, it's a dirty, dirty dog fish. <laughs> it's a doggy. Well done, Tommy. Right, I'm thinking that means we've only one life group this dog. I just had a really good bite. A proper whack. That's ah, still there, that is. <laughs> Don't think there's a fish, though. No! Good bite that was though. It was a good bite. It's not meant to be. That's a full mackerel, that is. Well, I just had a cracking bite on the other rod as well on the full mackerel. How am I missing these? Oh, you absolute. Well, that's two big bites missed in a row. I need to take up golf. It says he's got a fish on. It's a plastic bag. <laughs> it's a plastic bag. <laughs> Just had a good bite on the right rod. And again, it's still there. Still there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's investigate. Yeah. Yeah. Fish on. Let's see what we got here. Oh, it might have just come off. I think it's just bumped. Don't think it's on now. It was definitely, definitely on. Don't think I have now. 
No. Hello. Yep. No. No, no, no. It was on that was as well. <laughs> Nobody wants to see that. <laughs> oh no. There's a fish there. It's uh It's a baby dog in it. It's a puppy. There you go, mate. Nice one. After losing three fish, then having snag after snag after snag, I was hoping it wouldn't be long until my luck changed. <laughs> Fish on. I think it's only, it's only a dirty dog. Don't you dare. Come on, boy, pull him back a bit now, Jesus. Pull him back a bit. Ooh. The thing with this place is you've got to keep, you've got to keep it up to keep it out of the rocks. Keep it up. It's a dirty, dirty, dirty dog fish. Hey! Come on again. One more. See it? Keep it up there. Got to be on that one, innit? Dirty dog. <laughs> He's a dirty dog fish more than me. <laughs> you mean that's four dirty dog fish more than you? Yeah. <laughs> hey! You put me in the snags, haven't you? I've had a pot, so that's what they've done. 
That's what you've done, put me in the lobster pots, haven't you? Yeah. It's a scabby something. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here he comes. I'm starving. I'm thinking of going for a kebab in a minute, I am. <laughs> it's gone. Either that or it's hung itself. Oh, no. oh, there, oh, there you go. go, it's on there. Yeah. Are you ready? It's on, guys. The Happy Hooker Show. Oh, you're going to have to Is this another dog? It's a dog. Will be. <laughs> Straight in a snag again. This just hasn't been my trip. <laughs> it might be time to get a kebab. <laughs> 